she go to daycare? It's like a pre-K. Well, she, if she's three years old, she doesn't go it's to pre-K. It's like a Head Start it's Head Start. Program. How many days a week does she go? Four. So why doesn't he work? He just because told he... me he stays home to watch the kids. Well, he watches his own son. We have a son. Why doesn't he work at night? It's my family time, ma'am. You can have family time as long as you're employed. <laughs> Tired when she goes to school all day and I would work all night. That would be hard to have family time. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Mr. Taylor, that's a joke, so you should have thought of that before you made a baby. Right, sure. Having your family time. Sure. What people do when they have babies is they get a job and they support them. Yeah. I don't support them. He doesn't support them. The state doesn't support them. And I'm absolutely positive if I looked in your bank account, I'd find out that somebody else was supporting your child other than the grandmother. Would that be a fair statement, sir? No, ma'am. No? Guarantee it. Head Start is a program that we pay for, not you, because you don't work. Okay, so you called her and told her you were coming over. So far, is that correct? Yes. How long did it take you to get there? I told her, give me about 20 minutes, I'll call you when I'm on my way. So I called after the 20 minutes, he answered the phone the second time, and he said, no, she's not here, don't have, you know, the F word call here again. So, you know, it's not the first time that he did something like that, so what I did is I drove around the block, seen that her car was there, pulled up in the driveway and beeped the horn. And she came outside, she went to my car, passenger, back door, grabbed my daughter, and he came out the door and just came to my window and just started doing a number on my vehicle. What kind of a number was he doing on your vehicle? At first he, he punched the window, and then um, he just started kicking the door trying to get me to come out my vehicle to fight him. No, that's not true. That's a lie. What did you go outside for, Mr. Taylor? Because he called me, threatening me, that he wanted to fight with me. So what happened was he came to the house, I came outside, I noticed he had hammers. Why did you go, just a second? What did you go outside for? Because he came to my house. He had just called just, me. Just a second. What did you go outside for? Because he showed up at my house. Call the police. If somebody called my house and said, I'm coming over to your house to beat you up, you call the police and you say, some nut who used to go with my fiance is coming to the house with a three-year-old child and he wants to beat me up. You don't go outside because it's clear to me he came with her daughter and his daughter she came out and she got the child. His intentions weren't just to drop off the child, though. They were to fight. That's just not true, a second. Right? Aren't you getting what I'm saying to you? You got your daughter. He goes into your house. He closes the door, goes over to the phone, and he calls the police. And he says, some nut is in my driveway, and he wants to fight with me. He doesn't go outside to the car. You get it? Yes. I mean, we're not talking about some prehistoric theory here. <laughs> we're talking about how civilized human beings behave, not people who have too much time on their hands. I see pictures of the car, please. Yeah, I have, I have pictures and I also have witnesses and estimates. Who are the witnesses? Are the witnesses relatives, yeah. friends? They're neighbors across the street from them. Yeah. I'd like to hear them, please. Tell me your name. Antoinette Degner. Degner. And you, sir? I'm Don Degner. You live across the street from them? Yes. Yes. My sympathies. <laughs> you want to tell me what you observed on September 14th? We were in our house, and we had the door open. It was a nice day. And I heard somebody outside ranting and raving, you know, get the F out of the car and all kinds of bad language. So I stood up and looked out the window, and I seen this gentleman over here, and he just started punching and kicking the car. And Matthew went to pull back out of the driveway, and he gave the car another kick and put a That's nice right. dent in the front quarter panel. And I don't know any of these kids. So I ain't like biased, you know, against any of them. I don't know any of them. And the baby was outside. The baby was outside. Yes, the baby yes. was like four feet from his truck. Who was holding the baby? Nobody. Maria the baby was, was standing trying there to first. Calm it down. And Mr. Taylor grabbed the baby and put the baby up on the porch. And Maria brought the baby inside. Thank you very much. You may be seated. Nobody said nothing about the hammer that he tried getting out of the vehicle with. He never got out of the I, vehicle. Just a second. He, I he didn't let him. Listen, listen to me. He damaged his car. You have to find something more constructive to do with your time than sitting around the house doing nothing. Find a daycare for your son and go get a job. You made him, you support him. She doesn't work, you don't work. The state gives you enough stipends, whether it be no. from Head Start or WIC mm -hmm. or whatever else it is, no, no, so that no, you don't have to do anything but sit home in her grandmother's house and be supported by other people. That's not the real world, sir. The real world is if you're old enough to make a baby, you're old enough to support it. How much did it cost you to fix your car? Thirteen hundred, And I have proof that I had to take off of work for the window. How was the window broken? 
No, oh, the window's Don't be quiet. Go up and down. The window. How is the window damaged? There are ways to express your affection for someone, madam, other than having children. <laughs> Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount.